Hey guys, what is up? Okay, sorry if I sound like I'm trying to make my voice deeper. I'm not. I'm not trying to pull anything. Uh, but basically, I just woke up. I need to leave in like an hour. So I'm just going to make this quick tutorial on um, how to make like raindrop particles. These are really cool particles that I found out how to make not too long ago. And I just want to show you guys that because I need to make a particle tutorial. And I wanted to make... Um, I want to show you guys some particles that are kind of original, I guess, and not some basic particles. So, uh, yeah, so what you want to do is you make a solid, right? You want to go to, uh, one sec, you need to go to particular, right? You'll put that right on the solid. This is very, these are actually very easy to make, but they look really cool. All right, so now what you want to do, you just want to make it, uh, it doesn't really matter. You can just do deep X, Y, Z, but then you want to make them like 9,000. Yeah, like 9,000 by 9,000 by 9,000. So then there's a lot of space. And then, so I don't know, fucking know. Just do that. <laughs> All right. So um, now what you want to do, you want to add some rainfall. Of course, this is way too fast. So you want to kind of make that at least like, uh, say that's 480. That's fun. All right, so you want to increase the size a little bit, not too much, and you also want to increase the life per second to maybe eight. Uh, you really want to just screw around at this point. All right, so now what you want to do, you want to add fade in, fade out. Go to uh, aux, and then you want to add a sphere trail fading. See, so you're gonna get something like this, right? All right, so. You want to increase the size of this thing, make it like that, and then you want to do that, right? So you, you can clearly see how there's like a little bit of a raindrop effect right there. You actually want to play around with these settings a little bit so then it looks more realistic. Uh, yeah, that looks good. That looks very good, right? You can, I mean, yeah, you can just do stuff like that. All right, so now, as you can see, we kind of have some rain particle, uh, the raindrop particles going around right now. Or whatever. Now I want to again. You want to screw around with the size of it, so that you can. You want to make it. You actually want to make it a little bigger. So then the uh, this part's a little bigger. So you want to just go back to aux, and you want to uh, make yeah, just make it like thirty five. Actually, not that much, but thirty like around thirty five is usually fine. And you want to go to particles per second. I usually make this around thirty five, and now that looks very nice. <laughs> Actually, I want to bring that down to like 25. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to do find edges. I'll put that right in there and then go invert. And now you have this kind of cool effect. And um, that's how you make raindrop particles. So, I mean, yeah, there you guys go. If you guys want any more tutorials, please comment down what you guys want. Because I didn't know what you guys wanted to make last time. Or when you, I didn't know what you guys wanted me to make last time for my particle tutorial. But just comment down what you guys want and I'll make it. So yeah, thank you guys. Uh, see ya.